Hey guys, so I apologize, lighting in here is kind of junk, but uh, today we're going to look at the Rook uh, PlayStation case. Alright, so uh, we've got it packed inside my Pelican suitcase here. <clears throat> and you can see it's sitting right down here. Now it does take up a good bit of room in here. Uh, it's easily half the width and over two-thirds of the depth of this thing, and then um, a little past halfway on the height. Uh, but I will say what I was using before was the original PlayStation box and that was not uh, ideal by any stretch. That took up a lot of the space. So uh, I got this thing. It's significantly smaller than the original box. I don't know if it worked yet through uh, air travel. You guys will actually find out before I do because if you're watching this it worked. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this out walk you through it and then uh, we'll hook it up to the TV and see if it survived my trip. Alright so I'm playing with angles a little bit here to get you guys the best shot of this thing. But uh, here's the Rook out of the suitcase now. Uh, you can find these on Amazon for I think about $44. They have uh, I believe over a 4 star review uh, average but there's a couple disparaging ones in there that say PlayStation doesn't fit uh, which is kind of odd that seems like it'd be a showstopper for even selling it. Uh, so this is marketed towards the PlayStation Pro, which is the biggest PlayStation 4. Uh, so in theory, if that fits, uh, my old school PlayStation 4 should fit just fine. And it does. You just have to turn it sideways. So it is secured with these two side release buckles right here. There is a shoulder strap if you want to turn it into a carry-on. I do not, which is the reason why I got this thing in the first place. sides are secured by velcro so you can see the playstation fits up top here uh, and you do have to turn it sideways to get it to fit which uh, is pretty apparent from reading the reviews um, but yeah once you turn it sideways it fits like a glove uh, uh, it makes me a little concerned that the pro might not fit but i don't have that so not a huge concern of mine uh, obviously the government shutdown is over because TSA checked this out and I could tell because it was flipped upside down in my bag uh, so extra challenge added. Alright, looking at this thing this is uh, the sides and the front flap here are super rigid. Uh, they're not not really padded, they have like a felt lining on them uh, but they are clearly reinforced and they stand up on their own which is where the protection comes from. Okay. Then you get this divider flap here, and the divider is cut for six game discs. Uh, that seems a little uh, unnerving to me. I'm sure it would be fine, but I didn't really need the room, so I didn't bother using those. And then the bottom portion here has these dividers that Velcro in, and they are completely customizable for whatever you want to fit in here. So uh, since I'm traveling alone, I just have my one controller and a charging cable for the controller. I've got any cords I need, so Ethernet, if that's an option wherever I go, the power cord itself, and then an HDMI cable. And then I've got three games. Uh, I could fit a fourth if you trust the uh, Divider to protect your games, you could easily reconfigure this to fit a headset in there as well. I did not have a bulky headset when I got this, so that wasn't a concern, but I will play around with that and see how it works later on. Uh, especially if I'm getting towards the end of a lifespan on a game, I'll throw it up there and see how that works. Um, so the bottom is just as rigid as the top, so once you Velcro that all shut, it basically cannot get compressed from the top. The underside here is just rigid. There's no padding, but that's for all your peripherals. Whereas the top has this nice um, rigid uh, foam as well uh, with like a rubberized exterior. So uh, I'm gonna take a few minutes, get this set up on the TV and make sure everything checks out. And then uh, I'll give you some closing thoughts on this thing. All right, so there you go. TSA tried, but they didn't break it. So again, 
the rook all laid out. Uh, you know, traveling with a PS4 is not for everybody. I'm really surprised that there isn't a legit uh, hard case for these for air travel. Uh, I've seen people uh, use them as their carry-on to take better care of them. I, I don't want to deal with that. So I wish there was a compact hard case where I could just throw it in a soft-sided suitcase and be totally comfortable with what happens. I don't really need the room for the peripherals. I just want the actual uh, PlayStation in there. But as far as I know, that doesn't exist. If you know of one, please let me know. Um, also, you know, people are probably opposed to traveling with one in general, like you're going somewhere, go do something. Uh, you know, I've got a bunch of kids at home, and I try to give them all the time I can while I'm there, so... Uh, when I go away for work, which is a couple times a year, I like to take the PlayStation and do a little bit of binge gaming uh, on top of sightseeing. So I don't totally forsake going outside. Uh, if you're traveling with a PS4, uh, or an Xbox for that matter, you're probably aware they're really heavy. So just know that you're eating up some of your allowable cargo space. And as long as you're okay with that, I think the Rook is a good option. I feel every bit as confident in that thing as I did the factory box. So for the space savings and the relatively small price tag, I think it's a win. Uh, hopefully you guys got something out of this. It's a little bit different for me. Uh, hopefully that doesn't bother anybody. But uh, there you go, the Rook uh, PlayStation case. It's on Amazon, I think 45 bucks. Uh, not a bad deal. Thanks guys.